हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस टुडे आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट हाउ टू इंसर्ट एन एरे ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन साइड योर जे एस पी डी एफ ऑटो टेबल लाइब्रेरी सो दिस इज द डेमो ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन वी विल बी बिल्डिंग गाइज सो इफ यू आई हिट दिस बटन जनरेट पी डी एफ सो ए पी डी एफ फाइल विल बी डाउनलोडेड एज अटैचमेंट इफ आई ओपन दिस फाइल हेयर यू विल सी दिस इज द फील्ड्स आर इंसर्टेड हेयर यू विल सी थ्री कॉलम्स थ्री रोज आर देयर एंड ऑल दीज डेटा इज कमिंग फ्रॉम एन जेसन ऑब्जेक्ट let me show that json object to you this is array of objects here each object has three properties attached to it which is name age and country so this can be coming from an api as well external api so you can dynamically insert data inside your pdf document using js pdf auto table library so js pdf basically is a client side javascript uh, pdf generation library so if you just type js pdf you will be redirected to their official website so this will be a simple browser example so we will just be using vanilla javascript for doing this so all the source code regarding this application will be there inside video description i have written all this source code you can go to the video description link to download all the source code this is all the source code which is required so let's start building the application from scratch guys so i have opened visual studio code text editor so let me change the title and now after that guys you need to include the two script tags which are given in the video description source code so this is namely for having the js pdf library and the js pdf auto table library so just format the document here so we have included these two tags here after this inside your body we will have a simple button tag so here you will just simply say generate pdf so we can give it a id to it or button so then we will have a script tag so inside this guys we will target the button by document dot get element by id so we will simply say button dot add event listener and uh, when we click this button what will happen so first of all guys inside this we need to initialize uh, js pdf document so here we will simply say let doc new js pdf after this we need to add the data inside the table so there is a method out there which is auto table so this takes the property of head so inside this you will provide the column names which is a array of columns so name age you can take as many columns as you want country put a comma and then we have the body tag so basically you will provide here each of the columns or rows rows i think rows so here you will provide gautam put a age 24 india after this put a, another comma for the second row which is adam i think this is a numeric value so do i don't need to put uh, so let me remove this quotes here from this this is a numeric value so after doing this guys simply we need to save this file so we will simply say table.pdf so basically here we are just inserting static data if i click the button you will see all these entries are being inserted here you will see that now basically we will dynamically insert data coming from a json object so instead of passing this we will simply declare a info array right here at the top let info basically this array will be empty we need to construct it for our users array basically so this will be a json of uh, array of objects so which each object will have three properties which is gautam h 24 country will be india so we can repeat this two more times guys so put a comma you can just change the names to peter age you can change to 27 australia uh after this guys you need to convert this to a array 
you can't directly pass this users like this so we need to convert this so for converting this we will simply run a for each loop this is very popular loop inside javascript so the array will be we will be taking the users array for each element so we will have access to each element here like this in the element property then the index and then array so we only need the element property guys so we will simply push the entries info.push this is a push method inside array in javascript which actually pushes the element inside the array and here we, you need to write this square bracket so we will push the entry element dot name comma element dot h element dot country that's it that's all that you need to do guys so we are simply passing the dynamic array which is constructed using this for each loop so now basically if you open this application click now you will see all the results are automatically inserted using the json array of objects so you can anytime you can add a object here so automatically this will have now four entries out there you will see that so you can just plug this automatically the data will be coming through a api's response and automatically you are transforming this to a actual array and then you're passing to auto table library jspdf auto table to insert the table to insert the data inside the table so this is a very awesome little application i saw in the internet many people asked this question on stack overflow that how to insert data from an array of json objects inside the jspdf auto table library so that's why i decided to make this video so to solve the people doubts so if you like this video guys then please hit the like button all the source code of this application will be there inside video description please download the source code and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much